It just goes to show you that there's a bunch of crap put out on the website, Brigantine Now, that are scaring the residents of Brigantine. Ann H. Phillips speaking for the Brigantine Taxpayers Association. Please clarify the announcement by the fire chief of the appointment of a medical director. This appears to be a new position. If so, when did council approve such a position and does the fire chief have authority for the appointment? It just goes to show you that there's a bunch of crap put out on the website Brigantine Now Questions have been raised about financial oversight by the city of athletic groups which receive taxpayer funds and use city facilities. In order to have accountability, transparency, and fairness, we recommend that the city establish uniform financial standards and requirements for these groups and audit their books. It's good business practice and protects the city's and volunteers' credibility and reputation. It just goes to show you that there's a bunch of crap put out on the website Brigantine Now. Mayor Gunther, you have stated repeatedly that before council makes a decision on the golf course, there must be a public meeting on this very important matter. Let's do it. Let's get the facts and numbers out to the taxpayers and see what choice is in the public interest. This shouldn't be a partisan political issue. There must be transparency and taxpayers must have the total picture. Let's set a date and consider a public meeting in the community center. It just goes to show you that there's a bunch of crap put out on the website Brigantine Now. Uh, I see the item for our new auditors who we appointed at the last meeting on January 21st, Ford Scott. Um, have a progress bill in the amount of $7,800 on a purchase order dated yesterday. Um, what, what is it? How many hours are, are we talking about to come up to $7,800 so quickly? I don't have that with me. Mike Brennan, 1113 Bay Shore Avenue, uh, come as the President of the Chamber of Commerce. Um, we think the uh, farmer's market on the whole was a great success and commend everybody that participated. We do ask them to keep in mind as they uh, approve uh, vendors at that market, uh, such as like there were some pizzas there. Well, we have several pizza powers on there. So that would be of some concern that we would ask you to consider that when you sign a vendor that is selling pizzas there. You know, the, the bakery type items, homemade bakery items and things like that, that's not really gonna affect any of our bricks and sticks businesses. but. As you make the decisions and as you sign vendors on, keep in mind, do we have a readily available supply of that already on the island and use that as a discretionary measure? But it just goes to show you that there's a bunch of crap put out on the website Brigantine Now that are scaring the residents of Brigantine. The bid on behalf of, uh, this is a four-year lease. Um, and the amount is $292,560. Can we have a motion and a second, please? So moved. Second. Now, I, what my understanding is, is this lease per month is approximately about $100 more than we had with EasyGo? Yes, just, just about. <laughs> Your little hand in mine There ain't no hill or mountain 
can fly.